Scorpio, how are you doing? Welcome to your weekly reading here on the Astro Flower. Going from, uh, what's it going from? It's going from the 12th to the 18th of August. Uh, let's just open up the flower here. Uh, I hope you're doing well. I hope you have a lovely reading, of course. Uh, have you seen that energy update that I did last week, uh, this week? Um, and how is the message playing out? How are you seeing the message playing out in the uh, surrounding areas around you? What we got here is your overall energies here for this week. The karmic message on your relationship side, karmic message on your financial side, influences from the universe. And then we have the influence from your past self. Yeah, so how the message plays out. Is it going to be playing out in your reading this week? We'll wait and see, obviously. Uh, how's it playing for you? And then, uh, you know, if if you've got your experiences and you want to help with the, um, the, the Astro Flower family and the understanding, just put it in the comments. It'd be lovely to hear your, your experiences. Always good. The more the merrier, the more we learn. Okay? We learn collectively. Right, let's get on with your reading anyway um, for this week. Uh, overall energies here. Let's just see what's going on for you, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Okay, it's tied into two places on your relationship side. It's tied into your karmic message or your karmic path of what you should be doing. There is a, it's also connected to your past and it's it's in this area here, it's got a good connection. And then it's got this one particular connection, which seems very strong about the lesson coming out of this week here more than anything else. I think probably the future is going to be dependent upon what is coming out in the messages, basically, uh, more than anything else. Um, let's just see how it plays out. On the financial side, it's like you're unwrapping the opportunity you're unwrapping your pathway you're it's like you're opening gradually that sort of um that sort of doorway to to future success yeah you're getting justice i think this is a i think you're, you should be feeling this week here very empowered this week but not empowered as in you're yeah, doing really well more sort of like although you should be hopefully uh more of a case of like you're feeling empowered kind of going yeah this is great sort of scenario and I think that's where you're getting your just desserts like you're getting the the rub of the green as it were on your sort of um in your sort of energies uh it's playing through you in that sort of sense and on the financial side it's as if like there's something you've been working on or you're working towards and it's like this week here is like you've, you've you've thrown the dice and it's almost as if like you're waiting for the dice to settle before you can make your move. But there's definitely a move to be made uh, on that side. Let's just see what's going on on your relationship side. Okay, so okay, so the karmic message here is playing more into the universal energies here more than anything else. Um, so I think it's basically um, living your path in, in regards to connections with other people, that people that are around you, reading the coincidences that are happening around you or the synchronicities that are happening around you. Uh, thank you, Anne. And um, yes, and sort of, uh, you know, it's it's a case of not playing it by ear, but like surfing the wave of the energy coming through your life. The universal energy here, oh, it really wants to push on into the future. But it's it's what it's doing is is it's almost as it's like it's like um, the universe is is acting a bit like a bait in a way. And it's encouraging people to come into your life. It's not actually going out there and getting them because it does happen quite a lot. Um, but it's it's got this wavy factor going on. And it's I think it's down to the decision that you've got to make, which will determine your karmic path in regards to your relationship side. On your, um, your past self, that's playing beautifully into the justice card. I think you're getting a lot of justice about something in the past. Might be, you might have... Um, it might be like a revelation that's coming to the surface in regards to relationships that are around you or people that you know that gives you that insight of to what happened in the past and it's giving you a lot of justice you obviously uh things are sort of like playing playing right for you and, oh, your 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 future self what's willing you on is this justice i think in order for you to get forward you have to be in a harmonious place and that seems to be the driving force behind your emotions and your relationship side. You want to be in a good place and comfortable. And that's where things can really progress. Let's see what's going on the um, um, the lessons for this week. Sorry. There is a decision. It's pointing towards, there's an aspect that's pointing towards the future. 
and um but this it's like um it's like uh like a a a a, a brick chimney yeah and one side of the brick chimney is being built up and it's and it can't go any further it's waiting for the rest to be filled in and i think this is waiting for decisions to be made on your behalf on your karmic path on your relationship side you get the nine nine of uh, pentacles beautiful cards um this is about the pathway and this is about your karmic path as you go forward into it comfortably but you've got to be you've really got to be fixed on that idea of feeling comfortable about you know life around you feeling very happy around you not happy but um fe feeling very contented with what you know how life is progressing in regards to relationships and emotions the moment you start doing that that's when i think you're going to get a lot of people coming in kind of going, oh that you know sort of like now, did you want to go out for a coffee or something like that and you go out for a coffee and it's just kind of it's just nice that you know people are thinking about you you're thinking about them therefore things are bre it's bringing in results for you but it's bringing in results because you've got to keep an one eye <laughs> one of the three eyes and probably the third eye on um what makes you feel contented about your scenario that is around you yeah this is as i said like it's a wavy thing if you imagine like there's the two ones there are two parts of the wave that's on one side and the other it's it's like i had that sort of scenario going on uh with the energy it wasn't it wants to go forward but it's needs planning and this is where it needs a decision needs to be made uh, most certainly okay so the this is from your past the world is your oyster, by the way. You know what I mean? Once you start planning it, I think the future thing's going to be looking really good. So this is your past um, sort of energies. And it's got the Seven of Swords here. And as I said, I think this is where you've been very astute about how you've dealt with relationships or emotional sort of situations with people in the past. And because you've played that sort of not getting too involved in it sort of scenario and allowing things to happen to see how the, you know, see how the dust lies or see how the, the the dice roll. And I think this is very intelligent in regards to your past of the way you've positioned. And I think you're getting justice for that. I think you're getting notification of some information that is coming through that makes you feel that, yes, I had it right. In your future self, this is the beautiful thing. You've got the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, a Taurus card, which is absolutely brilliant for you because it's your opposite sign. It gives you everything that you may not have within you and you give everything to Taurus that they don't have within them. Very, very complimentary signs here. But this is um, sort of sitting in your power through knowledge and understanding. That's what the King of um, Pentacles does. He's a very learned king and that's what gives him this weight and knowledge and understanding. And that's what I think is coming out of this playing smart here and also playing smart in regards to putting together a plan for the future. And if you just keep laser focus on scenarios or situations that make you feel at home with who you are and your relationships, it's going to it should pan out incredibly well. That's the decision you need to make. And that's what that's waiting for. As I said, this here, you've got the world at your feet. Uh, Scorpio you really do and I would not hold back on your dreams you know if it makes you feel comfortable if you're very comfortable about going into a relationship or opening up your emotions or you know investing time into friends family or groups or whatever it is whatever you do I would go for the best example don't settle for second best here uh, Scorpio I think you've done an incredible amount of work over the past year year and a half it's been absolutely beautiful to see in your tarot and I think you're getting some really good results that may turn up from something that's happened a long time ago and that just gives you the reason and you kind of gives you that self-justice in a way uh really in a, in a very good way okay let's just see what's going on on your financial side okay the karmic message here is playing into the past um so there's obviously something that you've been planning for some time uh, it doesn't necessarily, it's not pointing to the future. So it's something that's your, um, it's like um, you passed exams and now you're applying for jobs. And because you pass those exams, you can get those jobs. So if you started a business, you started investing in something that, you know, maybe other people weren't investing in. Um, and in that business, now you're starting to get the returns. And it's bringing you a lot of favour from something that you've done in the past of a longer term plan. 
the universal energy is really playing into the future, into the sort of lesson for this week here. Obviously, uh, it's tied into something that you've been working on for a long time. Um, and it's the way in which you react to the, to the world around you, the situations around you. So it could be a situation that comes into your business. Um, and the way in which you deal with that situation will mean, uh, you know, how much success you will get in the future. It's really planting seeds for a beautiful future. You know, the past self here, the past self as well is playing into the um, lessons to be learned out this week. So um, not only is the karmic path playing into that, I think this is a long term plan that is coming to some sort of fruition. And patience has been your virtue, I think, more than anything else. In your future self, yeah, there, it, it ties into the justice card, but it's also making a pillar that is very solid, a pillar of understanding, a bit like a landmark in your life, um, which is really good. Strike while the iron's hot. Or the other thing I got as well is strike like a cobra. A cobra? A cobra. <laughs> so basically, um, you know, it's being patient, waiting for that opportunity. And bam, you take it. And I, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't hang back. If it feels right for you, I think it's, I think it would be a very good idea for you to act quickly this week in regards to things that are around you. It'll, it's not that it can't be changed in the future, but I think you need to get the ball rolling, as it were, more than anything else. Yeah, the world. This is, I think you're on the edge of something amazing within your financial world, your job, your business, or your project. It's a whole new dimension where in the future you will have it will be emotionally fulfilling it will be materialistically fulfilling it will be physically fulfilling it will be um uh sort of mentally stimulating as well it gives you everything the but in even levels the world card and this is a whole new whole new world to to open up you know if you imagine if you just turned up on this planet this week you'd want to visit everything and that's a little bit like What's going on here? This is why I think you need to make decisions because afterwards there's a lot of work and exploration to get involved with. Justice. Uh, justice. Judgment. So you've got judgment and you've got justice and you've got the world card. You know, this is a, a whole new cycle for you. Uh, but it's a cycle that's born out of an old cycle, if you know what I mean. Uh, it's something that you've been doing for some time. And now the universe is like really cottoned on to this. So it's it's very much trying to help you in any form whatsoever to make um, coincidences around you. So that actually opens doors for you. But it's like I was explaining to my daughter about manifestation uh, the other day ever. And, um, you know, sometimes if you want to manifest something, uh, you have to do the first the first foot for, forward. And then the universe will then. As you're putting the first foot down, the universe has already started to get you another foot in front. And that's how it works. It's it's a sort of like, I think you've put that foot forward and now the universe is really coming together with uh, really backing you up. Yes, there is decisions to be made here. And I think in the past, this is from your past, this is where you're going to see things differently of what you've done already and the things that's got you to where you are today and how it's got you here, here uh, where you are. And it's giving you an opportunity to change things, to adjust things. So you can be a very streamlined. It can be very much more productive, uh, much more sort of uh, much more successful in a way. And in the future, you get the two of pentacles. It's a beautiful card to have in your future, actually. Because what's like, what the two of pentacles is doing is because you're following that righteous path, this path that is set out for you. Um, and it is, you know, this is about feeling comfortable about who you are. Once you start following that path there, the two of pentacles in the future is going to reveal to you what is really working. So you may have different aspects of your project or your business or your job. There's some aspects that, you know, are working. But because everything else has been also working, it hasn't really been explosive, might not have been explosive. But as it's been working... You know, there's you, you you wouldn't you wouldn't recognize that actually it's not working that well. Once everything else starts, when certain things start really growing, you're going to start to realize that there's certain activities that are just you you know not worth concentrating on. <laughs> seize carpus dies diem is it diem carpus dies whatever it is seize the day. 
This is what that's all about. And it's playing into this golden opportunity, which comes from that. This is amazing for you, uh, Scorpio, uh, in, in a very beautiful way. As I said, I think it's you taking what you've already done to a completely new level, a completely new level. And it's really good. It's really good. Everything's on the cusp here. And it's 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 all just that patience there is playing off incredibly for you. Let's just see what's going on with the Light Seers cards. On the overall energies, you get with the Justice cards, you get the Knight of Swords on your relationship side. Um, this is obviously going on a mission, and I think that's the mission there. If you're going to choose something, choose the ultimate goal. And that pretty much plays out as well on on your financial side as well. You know, that's the sort of thing that plays out there as well on that financial side. And I think here is like, uh, as I say, I wouldn't settle for second best. And this is what is going on a mission for you of love, you know, and exploring. And love doesn't necessarily have to be a one to one thing. Love is could be, you know, the universal love, the loving of life, of living of life. If you're looking for someone, you know, you will find someone when you start doing that. Stay true and tr and strong to your vision. This is what I was sort of saying here. Recognize what makes you feel comfortable in your relationships around you emotionally. And that's the things I would, you know, invest in. And I wouldn't give any time to things that make you feel, un, you know, unwell, unhappy, you know, uh, uncentered, unbalanced and that sort of thing. You know, stay true to your inner vision. Yeah, the universe... I've got to say the universe is feeling a little bit stuck here. The universe really wants to help you out, but it needs a plan to work to. And I think that's what the star card is all about. It's now taking action. It seems like on your relationship side that you are making that first step forward. And that's coming out because there's something from the past that needs to come to the surface. So it gives you clarity. So then you can then, um, you know, realize that actually, yeah, I saw it right. I had it right. You know, I was right about that person. And that clarity uh, will allow you to invest in your future in a really beautiful way. It's going to give you everything. It's going to make you feel very good. This is a good card for sort of, we're on the, on the relationship side. It's a very good card for love. It's providing for you the, the, the peace that was missing for your happiness. That's what it seems to be happening here this week here. I'd be very attentive about connections to past people um, and taking the lessons out of the past to, you know, make you play smarter rather than harder. And in your future self, once you start heading for that star card, once you start playing for the, you know, reaching for the stars, don't accept second best. Once you put that foot forward, that's the information will be given through. You'll have a lot more communication. People will be coming to you, I think, a lot more rather than you have to go after the relationships. And it's going to be, it's not that it's a glow up. It's just that you're going to be a point of reference within friends, family and relationships. And there's a there's someone obviously coming through to you. It could be a Taurus that comes in that provides you with this communication that makes you, you know, that opens doors to love, whatever it is. Reach for the stars. Reach for happiness. Look at that. The Ten of Cups. Happiness after difficulty. Whatever you've been waiting around for, this is happening for you, people. Um, the information is coming through. You've played smart in regards to your emotions and your relationships in the past. And it's going to be this happiness after difficulty. You're going to go off on a mission. And the universe is waiting for that. Waiting for that Knight of Swords to really start playing through. And it's just going to be so good. It's just going to be so good. You, you're going to, it's going to be difficult to find worries within life. <laughs> I wouldn't look for them either. You know, uh, make hay while the sun shines, as it were. Um, but whatever it is, this information that's coming from the past is really liberating you. Let's just see what's going on on your financial side. Look at that. The sun on the overall energy. And uh, this is this is what I'm talking about. The overall energy here comes from within inside you as much as it also is outside of you, but in the close proximity. It's feeling that sort of comfortable, feeling that happiness. But it's not happiness. It's feeling very comfortable about what you're doing and where you're going. And the overall energy here is driving on your financial side here because you want things to work, you know, which is totally understandable. And it makes you feel a lot happier when it does work. And this is this new paradigm that's coming up for you. Look at that. You've got judgment now. 
twice. With the well card here, you get judgment. This is your calling. You're moving into this new paradigm. This ace of pentacles here is your ultimate calling in life. And your patience has paid off like big style. Look at that. Ace of wands as well. This is a very passionate opportunity coming through for you uh, in this very near future. Very near future. I think it comes out in the next sort of like two weeks, two or three weeks. But here is observing and making those decisions, lightning decisions, that you can then really start opening doors going forward. No doubt about it. And it's an opportunity that really you are very, very passionate about. And this is where the universe is waiting for you to seize upon that ace of that ace of that ace of pentacles. It is gonna, it is, it's, it's, it's yeah, it's it's very, very magical. It's like it's it's like on a it's like a dream come true. It's like a dream come true. With the hangman, this is in your past, right? Hangman, seeing things differently. I've got I think you've got a worker. I think you've got, you've got to make decisions about things you've been doing in the past that, OK, it may have worked. And that's what the Four of Cups is all about. It may have worked. She's not particularly, she's not unhappy, but she's not particularly happy either. But the thing is, that's because she's looking to the past. And those three cups there, uh, you know, they're, they're there, but they're not producing really anything. But there is one cup there, the Ace of Cups, which is absolutely blistering and blinding. And this is where I think you need to convert a lot of things in the past realize the good the stuff that works take on those those bits that work and just apply them in your life and once you apply that so it could be um you know the way in which you fill out a a, a applica job application you've changed the way in which you fill it out and all of a sudden you're getting a lot more responses so then kind of going okay so let's push on that and it's just working on what areas you need to push on as you go forward with the two of pentacles, you get the four of pentacles. Yeah, this is what it's revealing in the future with this ace of pentacles there. It's revealing what works to you. And therefore, you should be very astute about where you put your money, your time and effort into things in the future. There's certain things that are just yeah, not worth worrying about. And there's other things that are worth really getting into. And the thing that's going to give it away, that's going to make it clear for you, is that feeling of passion that you have for that situation. Boom! King of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles, ultimate success, ultimate abundance, ultimate knowledge and understanding in regards to life, really sitting in your power. This opportunity is going to give you a sense of fulfillment that you may not have felt for a very, very long time. Absolutely beautiful on both sides of your life. This is a real uptick in your life uh, on all senses. Absolutely beautiful, um, Scorpio. Hope you're enjoying the energy videos that we're putting out there because it is playing into this, um, these readings. And I've noticed it. And the, you know, tell me what the message is of what you're feeling over this weekend here. Let it in. Let me see in the comments section below. I will see you soon. Um, thank you very much for all the support that you've given this channel in any which way you see fit. It's absolutely lovely. Um, yeah, I will see you soon. In the meantime, don't forget, life should be fun. So please do enjoy.